Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Katie and today we are going to be doing a reading order slash guide to Realm of the Eldlings by Robin Hobb. Um, so if you didn't know this is one of my favourite series um, and so I'm very excited to be doing this video obviously. I mean I'm always excited to be doing videos <laughs> um, but I wanted to do a, a slightly updated version of this video because I did one about a year ago but I hadn't actually finished the series then and <laughs> I'm still embarrassed about that video because I got the reading order wrong for the first trilogy because <laughs> I was just so excited that I had only read the Live Ships series and the Tawny Man series so I wanted to make this video now with the benefit of having read the entire series um, and so I can offer a bit more wisdom <laughs> Um, and a replacement for that video in general um, and I also wanted to do a little series of um, doing some like updated reading orders and some new ones that I've never done before so like I thought it was time for an updated like Cosmere reading order video because my the one I did for that is quite old now as well um, and also an updated um, NK Jemsen video because that video is actually really popular but I like filmed it really late at night well not that late at night but like evening and I don't know I rewatched it and like my makeup and hair are hideous and I just wanted to do a better version of it um, and I also thought I might do like a first law reading order video as well um, maybe something else if anyone has any like author requests that they want definitely let me know in the comments but today we're going to be doing The Realm Worldlings by Robin Hobb so the basic introduction so the Realm of the Elderlings is basically five trilogies, except one of the trilogies is actually four books, um, all set in this world called the Realm of the Elderlings. And the there are three, so the first, third and fifth trilogies all follow this main character called Fitz, Chivalry Farcia, who I will talk about um, when I talk about them, start talking about the books. And then books, the second trilogy and the fourth trilogy, which is actually a quartet, um, follow the um so the like um more a different place and the like booty <laughs> crews um and also this place called the rain miles which is like a kind of foresty jungle type place um so yeah that's a basic overview um i would generally say <laughs> reading order wise read them in order so the first trilogy is the um what is the first trilogy called the Farsia, yeah. The first trilogy is the Farsia trilogy, which is, um, I actually have these ones physically. Um, so Assassin's Apprentice, Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest. I'll go through them in more detail. Um, but yeah, all the rest I read on audio. Um, so that's the first trilogy. Then the second trilogy is the Live Ships Traders series. Then the third trilogy is the Tawny Man trilogy. Then the fourth, series is the Rainwild Chronicles and then the fifth trilogy is the Fits and the Fool trilogy and um, so that's kind of the reading order I would say I actually did not read them in that order <laughs> well I sort of did so I read Assassin's Apprentice the very first book and then I skipped the rest of the Farsi trilogy and then read the Live Ship Traders and then Tawny Man and then Live Ship, and then Rainwilds and then so I read it mostly in the right order really <laughs> um so yeah so now let's just go through all the books in the reading order and talk about each trilogy in a bit more detail i won't talk about the last two trilogies really in that much detail because then it's a bit spoilery but actually no rain wilds is not really spoilery you could probably like read the rain wild chronicles like as its own thing <laughs> without the bigger context of realm of the Eldlings. um because i would say with the exception of the final trilogy the they do all sort of stand on their own kind of there's a lot of interconnections and if you wanted to read them like interconnected you could but i would recommend reading it interconnected but they would work kind of on their own as well i think you just lose some of the like big big brain moments um so yeah and um, but kind of the further you go the more interconnected they get um so the first trilogy is the farcia trilogy so the correct order <laughs> for this trilogy is Assassin's Apprentice is book one, Royal Assassin is book two, and Assassin's Quest is book three. So in um, Assassin's Apprentice, we are following this um, bastard orphan called Fitz, who is discovered to be the um, bastard son of the prince um, called Prince Chivalry. Um, and then Fitz is like taken in by the royal family. Um, 
to like work for them essentially um and he is taken in by this like guy called chade who is like his trainer i don't know and fitz is kind of trained in the art of being like a court spy and assassin so that's sort of what the first one's about it's really like fitz growing up basically and fitz also has this kind of special like skill well he has <laughs> he has this thing called the skill which is like the royal family magic and it's basically like they can talk to each other like mind to mind and like influence people with like thought control um, and fitz also has this magic called the wit which is basically he can talk to animals um, and bond with animals but the wit is like seen as this like really bad magic in the world so Fitz has to kind of hide that um as well um so that's actually one of my favorite things about Realm of the Elderlings is all the animals and like the animal magic in it as well um so yeah so following Fitz Fitz is a very endearing character um and then um then the rest of the trilogy also follows Fitz so this series is really Fitz growing up um like the first one is him really going from like a child to a teenager and then these two are like him going from a, a boy to a man <laughs> um, no okay um, and then royal assassin is a lot of like court drama um and i actually feel like all fitz trilogies follow the same sort of structure so the first book is always like fit like fitz introducing you to how he's got to where he is now and like the setup and then the second book is like court drama and then the third book is always like they're going on a quest somewhere <laughs> um yeah that is pretty much the structure of all three trilogies for fizz um but anyway um the so royal assassin yes court drama fits growing up more um there is the introduction of a character called night eyes in this book who is the one of the best characters and just one of the most iconic realm of the otherlings characters so yes um and then book three is assassin's quest so again still following fits um and he's going off on a quest as you could probably tell <laughs> from the title um i don't want to say anymore because otherwise it's a spoilery but yeah i robin hobb is an excellent writer like her prose is just chef's kiss this trilogy i feel like it's really nice in oh i don't know i always see it and i think i've got lipstick all over it but i think it's just like blood drops is part of the cover art <laughs> um yeah this trilogy is just a really great introduction to fitz and his story um however i think assassin's apprentice is my least favorite book in the entire series and i read it and i wasn't that sold on it so I just kind of left the series initially and then I just decided I would read Live Ships Traders and then I got super into the series and then I read the whole series and then I went back and read Royal Assassin and Assassin's Fate, which I would not necessarily recommend, but I would recommend it if you read Assassin's Apprentice and didn't love it, try the Live Ships books because they are different um, and then maybe the same thing will happen to you and then you'll like fall in love with Realm of the Elderlings and then you'll just be obsessed with it and now I'm obsessed with it <laughs> um so yeah um that is the first trilogy and then the second trilogy is the Life Ships Traders series so this one we're following different characters um they're definitely you could read Life Ships first like they're not that connected um so we're basically following this family called the Vestrids and they own a live ship and live ships are like ships which can talk basically there's I love all the live ships they're very iconic um and the kind of patriarch of the family dies at the beginning of the series um and leaves the ship with his like son-in-law <laughs> but the, his daughter wanted the ship um Althea is the daughter um so she's kind of annoyed by this um and then there's a lot of like family drama um and also following um the younger vestrids so the do the son daughter of um the like son-in-law and his wife who is the sister of althea um so winter and malta are the children and we're also following them um and a few other characters kennet this pirate character who is like on a mission to try and like what, what is he even doing i think he's trying to like unite the pirate isles and also he like frees slaves from like slave vessels um and so yeah there's various characters um and it's just a lot of like shippy drama and um, there's the dragons which come into it um later on in the uh no 
know, they, they're kind of in it from the beginning, in a way. Um, they're like sea serpents and stuff. So yeah, it's just good. It's very like magical. If you like ships, then I think you would like it. Um, Robin Hobb again, just her writing is just so good. Um, and yeah, so then the third trilogy is, oh, I didn't go through the books. Um, oops. The, uh, <laughs> this was meant to be an improved video. Um, so the first book is Ship of Magic. The second book is The Mad Ship. And the third book is Ship of Destiny. And they're all following the same kind of cast of characters, but the story just progresses through the three. Um, so I would definitely read one, two, three, like <laughs> don't mess around. Um, yeah, so that's those books. Um, I will put a little picture in. Um, and then we will move on to the Tawny Man trilogy. So again, following Fitz, he's a bit older in the series. I think about 10 years have passed since the end of Assassin's Quest. Um, and this one, we are following Fitz as he is drawn back into the court drama um, and um, various old friends show up, mainly the fool, who is a, an amazing character. Um, like, yeah, Fitz and the fool are just the most, one of the most iconic pairs in all of fiction. They're like just the best platonic platonic soulmates ever just are it's just one of the best relationships and I actually feel like the best Fitz and the Fool moments are in the later two Fitz trilogies like I liked them in the first trilogy but I just didn't feel like they were that I don't know I don't know but in the later two trilogies it is just a chef's kiss like the angst and everything is just so good um I would say the Tawdy Man trilogy is a lot of sort of court drama and like relationship drama <laughs> And it's basically All Too Well um, by Taylor Swift in a book <laughs> trilogy. Um, yeah, there's like scenes, oh, anyway. Um, and just the kind of development of the like world and the lore as well. There's quite a lot of interesting development. So this trilogy goes, the first one is called Fool's Errand. The second book is called The Golden Fool. And the third book is called no it's not <laughs> the third book is called fool's fate i was about to say fool's quest that's a different book fool's fate um so that is the tawny man trilogy um again will emotionally devastate you um is very entertaining even though you want to slap it it's like over the head of the book so many times <laughs> i think my review for golden fool is like i never wanted to bang my head into a wall so many times while reading a book um yeah Golden Fool is definitely, I think, the book in the realm of the Elderlings, which made me um, the most, like, viscerally react um, in terms of, like, anger it fits. But um, if you want my ranking video, I do also have a ranking video where I rank on the realm of the Elderlings, um, if you wanted to know that. <laughs> um, okay, and then, so after the Tawny Man trilogy, we have the Rainwell Chronicles, which the first one is called, um, Dra uh, no, it's, uh, Dragon Keeper. Dragonhaven. Oh yeah, so the first one is called Dragon Keeper, then the second book is called Dragon Haven, then the third book is called City of Dragons, and then the last book is called Blood of Dragons. So this is a quartet. Um all the other ones are trilogies, which is slightly confusing, but I think it's because the last two books in the series were originally a whole book and then split into two. Um, and this one we're following some characters from the Rain Wilds, which is like a kind of jungly, swampy place. <laughs> um, and there are new dragons like being born and stuff and they look after. And then this like crew of characters goes on like a mission upriver with the dragons to try and find this like ancient mystical city. Um, so that's basically the kind of plot of the Rain Wilds. But I would say the Rain Wilds are slightly different in tone to the rest of Robin Hobb's books. They are slightly more, I don't want to say cheesy, <laughs> but they're a bit more sort of like drama filled, but like drama in a more petty way. <laughs> um, and they sort of almost read like Bridgerton-y type drama. Um, and yeah so I really enjoyed them and they are very entertaining but they're not quite the same as all her other books um but yeah if you want like good relationship drama and like some good dragon content as well because there's a lot of like there's a bit of a, like how to train your dragony vibes in Rain Wilds as well which I really enjoyed so yeah I would recommend and sort of the later two books definitely start massively expanding on realm of the elderlings lore 
And then the same with the final trilogy, which is the Fits and the Fool trilogy, which the first book is called Fool's Assassin, the second book is called Fool's Quest, and the third book is Assassin's Fate, which is the final book in the Realm of the Oddlings. Um, and again, this series is very much the conclusion to the whole Realm of the Oddlings, especially Assassin's Fate. Um, so I would not read that trilogy without having read, well, most of the rest <laughs> of Realm of the Oddlings. Um, and yeah this series in particular is probably my favorite and this is a ranking video but it is my favorite and um, i really can't talk about what it's about because it's like the uh, final trilogy but i guess you can kind of tell from the name the fits and the fool trilogy so we're still following fits and the fool um and some new characters and actually the kind of newer characters we meet in the final trilogy i love so much um and the um old characters as well it's just a really good balance of like new and old and um yeah by the time you've in that deep you're in that deep <laughs> um so that is the final trilogy um and yeah just a great time um so yeah so i hope this video is helpful and um, if you have any questions definitely let me know in the comments um and i feel like i've done enough selling of the trilogy <laughs> of the series even but i feel like the favorites favorite elements fits in the fool obviously robin hobbs writing robin hobbs ability to like tear out your heart and like just emotionally devastate you like I think I cried reading Assassin's Fate. I'm not sure if I cried reading any other book in the series. Maybe a bit of Fool's Errand actually. Um, because, but I very rarely cry at books. But those books did make me cry. And it, but there's so many like emotional moments. I was having like multiple emotional breakdowns on the train on my commute reading Fool's Quest. <laughs> um, yeah, just the level of emotions is just oh. Um, all the characters are so good and um, yeah just just read it it's good it's good anyway um so yes um i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and i hope everyone is having a really great day and i will see you next time